What's up? Today we're going to be taking a look at the smallest snow plows in the world right here on these crocs <laughs> and up to the biggest snow plows that I could find. The reason I started looking at this stuff is I'm really looking for a snow plow setup. Oh, check this out, Natalie. <laughs> <clears throat> this is Natalie. I'm Blake, by the way. Hello. If you're new here, be you long care. Like, subscribe. We'd love to have you join, but... That's hilarious. We need that for our kids. We do. That is so cool. I can only imagine them out there like with the remote control doing that. That is That's awesome. Funny. This oh. is what you find on Instagram. So I, I've been looking. It's snow season, right? And I'm trying to figure out, should we get a uh, like a tractor and a plow? Should we get, um, you know, I've seen people with four-wheelers in a plow. Or we have a four-wheel drive work truck. Should we just get like a Boss V plow on it? Um, we we also got, you'll see later in this video, a plow on our mower. The kids would love that. Well, I was just gonna ask, and I would is love that, that chain in the back? So yeah, it down? That's funny. to weight it down, yeah. That's genius, it's honestly doing really good. That, <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna work our way up. So from the smallest croc plow to monster, huge 20, 30 foot plows. I just thought it'd be a fun video to sit here and watch. <laughs> we had, the multi-force and the snow plow, amazing, very cool setup. I left everybody's um, like Instagrams and stuff, the, the channels that I found these videos on. So check them out, give them some love if you like their setup. Comment down below what your favorite setup is. And if you have any suggestions for us on a snow plow setup, the truth, oh, here's, here's Tyler. This was yesterday. Um, really cool setup. This is, um, the Snowmate by Mulchmate. Um, if you're if you want that setup, how funny is that? <laughs> a smart, smart car plow. I had to put that in there. But uh, if you are <laughs> wanting a, a snow plow on your mower, like sidewalks or driveways, BB10, uh, the Snowmate saves you 10% off. The only thing we need is the winch. There's an attachment, a uh, winch attachment to lift that plow up and down. That's These fast. brooms are just so ridiculously oh good gosh. for like, you know, up to four inches, I think. What is that like? Powder? Go straight to the pavement. It's amazing. This is, uh, I think this is new this year from Boss. This is Stan. Stan has all that new equipment. It's beautiful. He's got a great channel. Um, how cool is that? So that's like an upgrade. It has the, the V plow that, you know, you can move around in a million different ways. You can salt with that. I saw that at LAL. Um, Boss was there. Uh, I think that's made by Boss now. Um, my boy C and I, the Steiners, the Ventrax. I think they're the, they're basically the same things. I've loved the Ventrax my whole life. Like I remember being a kid watching the Ventrax videos, just amazing. I've never seen this before. JC Landscapes. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. You can go right up to the garage and back plow basically. That's genius. I put another video here. The next one too. I just couldn't believe that. That is so wild. That's cool. Seems like it takes no effort at all. Cool. Now I don't. I wonder how much snow you could actually. Do that way? You know, if it was like ten inches, what would you do? That's but cool. how quickly you can do a driveway is ridiculous. I've seen these <laughs> only a couple times in my life, like in Colorado, or I think they have one at Snow Creek here in Kansas City. How sweet is that? Like that is robot. so cool. Those things are, I mean, that's a huge piece of machinery to be able to go up a mountain. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Now, I don't know what he's plowing. I, I think he's just leveling it out for like people skiing and snowboarding. That is so sick. Oh, I see. I like that. <laughs> I find this stuff satisfying. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, that's satisfying to watch that. And I'm like, I want to compile all these videos <laughs> that I find because I'm really looking at this stuff. Um, Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is I thought this was funny. <laughs> the audio is just so hilarious. I, is he plow? I think he's plowing to get to his trailer. That's so sweet. The tool cat. I mean. That's cool. So crazy of an invention. You can put buckets on it. It's basically like a small bobcat, you know, skid steer. 
the oh, the coolest that's... setup Ooh, ever. I love. I found that. this guy yesterday. How I messaged him like, how do you get your snowplow to glow like that's that? That's incredible. That's a hundred thousand dollar plus setup. That is so oh, wow, sweet. That's a lot of snow. <laughs> On the loaders, I mean, just a amazing. That's that's big time commercial industrial snow removal. I mean, those things bill out higher than trucks. I mean, if you have a loader and a, and a plow like that, I, I threw that in there. Love the stash, bro. The, the, I mean, I don't remember what I, the, what the, the billable per hour is on those things. Check that out. Dude, you almost oh. trashed that tractor. <laughs> but that's a monster plow, dude. So we're getting bigger, man. We're getting bigger. That's huge. I mean, you're talking about three, if you have a number, like in, if you have a loader and you, you know the bill of hours, it's probably like 300 bucks plus an hour for one of those things. Uh, but man, look at that snow. I mean, that is, that's probably like an Amazon facility or something. They're pushing some snow. And these street crews, this is guaranteed this is Canada. I bet that's Canada. Canada knows their snow removal, dude. So the, the real truth behind like why Oh, that's cool. How my, that? oh. my business isn't set up. Look, the cars are driving right know, behind it. Like they, it's cool. business, like man. Back dragging some. If you have a skid steer <coughs> and you do hardscaping, landscaping, to put one of these plows on it for, I don't know, five to ten thousand bucks probably. But the thing that I don't understand about that is it only a back plow? That's what I was just. Curious. Or can you go for it? I, it's probably reversible. I I don't know. I don't, it doesn't have a brand or anything on that. I have this seen those at some shops. Now this guy, <laughs> this guy, this ain't a plow, but this was too cool to Spending not show. I mean, sometimes like when we were trying to clear the, some driveways and when it was ice over underneath, mm -hmm. I'm like, what else do you do? Like people around here don't want to salt their driveway because it tears the crap traditionally the snow out of the driveway it and it's just like <laughs> you don't do it at least around here but look at this I, I don't even know what it's doing but it looks so sweet <laughs> it's making dirty snow that is so funny that is <laughs> like iron man <clears throat> Years ago, I had that not a flamethrower. Uh -huh. Blake Please do uh, not Gibbs try this Please do not try this sent, sent it to me, um, found me on YouTube, and I'm, I'm a huge Elon Musk fanboy, so it was sweet. There's Stan again. I mean, Stan, <clears throat> they they were doing the Mall of America snow removal. Oh, wow. So like, that's that's the kind of stuff that you have to have. I think he said, I, I saw him at Equip this year, uh, this past year. I think they bought their seventh loader. So he's got seven of these things in Arctic. Uh, posted videos of those from Equip Expo as well. I mean, you are pushing some serious flipping snow. Uh, yeah, awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Like, you are making top. cash money. Crazy. But again, that's, I don't know how much a loader costs, but I know the plows alone are probably 20, 30 grand. I mean, that's a, that is a setup that mm -hmm. you, you have to have some, some snow and some money and some investment into this but what i was saying is we don't get this kind of snow this year is so rare we're on our this is hilarious <laughs> what was he doing <laughs> like when you're editing the video and he just recorded himself for a second then brian's setup is beautiful yeah. brand new truck i don't it's like an 18 foot uh 18 foot plow or something like that it is just beautiful Brian, they, they got it going on. Love Brian's lawn maintenance. Check out his rig, man. They're growing their business. It's so cool. Um, we traditionally don't get that much snow, so we don't have a setup. Then this year, we're on like our third or fourth snow event. And I'm like, we need a plow setup. This guy, what is he doing? I saw this video. The next video is the first one I saw. This guy like stole a bobcat and destroyed cars in the parking lot. And then the cops came and he destroyed the, the police car. Like a video game. It's like Grand Theft Auto, like if they had Bobcats. <laughs> Check this out. Spencer's reposted this. Um I mean seriously though, what would you do? Yeah, that's You're cool. talking about a machine that would just flip a cop car. <laughs> yeah. I mean you Look at that! Oh my god. Destroyed! <laughs> oh, no. 
some of the video audios on the, this, like some of these clips were golden. And it had music, so I couldn't post it on here. Um, a couple of them had audio, but that's wild, dude. Beautiful, beautiful setup. I mean, these guys are like rolling Denali's in a boss plow. I mean, there's just nothing, nothing prettier than that. Look, there's that guy again. That is cool. Look at I that plow. That. that is beautiful. I put my logo on there. Uh huh. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, that is, is, is so. Is the second truck like that too? I don't know. But I mean that that's a that's an expensive rig, dude. He I don't know how much that plow is, but that truck's probably 130 grand right now. <coughs> Big old dually. Here's another thing I want to know: duallys or a regular truck? It seems like in my mind I'd be like, well, duallys might have more traction, but I'd love to know if somebody's tested that. Dang, that's a lot of snow. Yeah, see that that's like that every 15 crazy. years here. I don't think we've ever gotten like the that. past six years we've gotten no snow. No, you could go out with a blower and just blow it off the driveway. Um, the snows we've gotten this year have been decent. Bam! Oh. The power of a what? truck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just oh. we were just talking about that the other day. Like, who drives these small little smart cars anymore? It's just too dangerous. Look at that setup. That's beautiful. I mean, they're, they're going to make some cash. I don't know if that's like a county. It looks like a county. What county has all tractors though? Because we, like in our city, they just use those big dump truck yeah. for everything. For lawn care, mowing, snow removal, salting. Um, I've never actually seen a tractor out pl plowing streets. But you when you see those big ones, man, that's Canada, baby. I guarantee it. Check this out. Wham! That's so like a, sweet. What is that? A train? A train plow. <laughs> Clearing off those tracks. I guess That's I never sweet. even thought of that. Oh my goodness. Highly experienced operators. I mean, that's probably thousands of dollars an hour to build that out. I mean, that's like four trucks probably. Which is why metal you could you could probably do more work with that thing than four trucks. They're plowing a um, airport with, with this thing. Airports are required to buy high performance equipment. That's beautiful. And to adopt new working That's techniques great. constantly. So what do you think? What do you think we should get? Like a like a little multi-purpose tractor that we can do landscaping with, maybe even some large mowing, and put a plow on it. That's kind of where I'm going. Or maybe invest. $5,000 into a plow for the four wheel drive Chevy yeah. that we purchased this fall or July uh, with the company acquisition. Can you make it more attractive? Huh? Yeah, you can. They have heaters. Now, th th this is a city that knows what they're doing. Yeah. All the Look how are... quickly they clear off yeah. the streets. You can just drive right behind it and they just move all the snow over lanes. That's beautiful. That's and it's like so satisfying too how they're all in a perfect now i've always place. wondered how do they get those trucks with the tanks on them they move them if the truck's driving here it basically is a trailer and it shifts to the side and it can clear a whole other lane with one truck that's wild that's pretty cool. bridge view i don't know if that's a city or he means like bridge view of plowing how cool is that Again, I tried to leave everybody's like channel names because we're just I'm just finding cool little videos and I'm like I want to put these together because it's so satisfying to watch. So if you if you like the videos, go show show the other people some love. He doesn't need love. He's got five five and a half million views on it, but oh, that one's cool. this ain't a plow, but it was too cool. What is it? It's a snow blower for a train. Pushing some Can serious snow. That, that is so um, wild. At least I think it's for a train. I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool. Again, that we're like, not, we don't get this kind of stuff. Yeah. See that trailer? How yeah, does it do that? How it's to the side. <laughs> Efficiency. Efficiency. So that yes. that's a wrap. That was from the smallest croc. <laughs> That'd be a good gag gift to send that somebody. That would be funny. Those little crocs, like a, just, I don't know, if you're a wife watching this, your husband plows, <laughs> it's a funny little gift to get people or 
your buddy that plows it, it's funny. Some Crocs. And I know a lot of people roll mowing with Crocs. So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think it's fun. I do want to know, if you have a suggestion for us, what setup? I don't, again, I don't want to spend a fortune. I don't want to go buy a new Denali and put a brand new plow on it and spend $150,000 or one of those giant tractors and spend $100,000. But we do have a four wheel drive truck now. I have been looking at something to assist with landscaping. Um, you know, one of the stand on little skid steers like a dingo, um, maybe even a small like tractor. Again, multi-purpose, we can do landscaping with it, have a bucket on there, maybe do some mowing, and then plow in the winter time. Yeah. So leave me a comment, let me know. I think that for us, since we have a truck that is capable of doing it, like a truck plow. Yeah, I would Spend agree. a couple thousand bucks, maybe I'm off on that, maybe it's gonna be five to 10,000, I don't know exactly. Um, probably a little late for this year, but <clears throat> thinking ahead for next year. You uh, definitely could, should have done it this year. We just don't know. I mean, it, you just never know. It has when you go snow. six years, yeah, six years without snow, this people get out of the business. Yeah. There. Remember that last? Well, remember a week ago, Natalie? <laughs> Literally a week ago, there were large restaurant chains, the commercial buildings in our area, in our city posting on the pages on Facebook. Yeah. Red Robin was like, we have nobody to plow. We can't even open our doors today. We haven't, nobody plows anymore around here. Yeah, it's true. wild. But again, if you have a plow, you just spent $8,000 on, $10,000 on, sitting around one year, two year, three year, four year, five years, you're like, well, Let's just sell it and get out of the business. Mm -hmm. Cause obviously around here it doesn't matter. And then you get a big storm, you know, a big year for us. Yeah. And there's nobody to plow. So I'm like, dude, we need to, we need to invest a little bit of money and find out a, um, a setup to make some money. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave us a like, a comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. I thought it was a fun little video and uh, we're out of here. Peace. Bye.